Yo guys, what's up? Today I will be telling you some of the best tips and tricks on Pokemon Go. So my first tip to you lot would be, as soon as you see the Pokemon on screen, get it quickly. Get it ASAP, because the longer you wait, the less likely you to capture it. Because if you wait a long time and you do get it at the end, the Pokemon is most likely to escape from you. Another tip I would give you is to look in malls and shopping centres for a lot of Pokemon. For some reason, I have no idea why, there seem to be a lot of Pokemon in those areas. So go to malls and shopping centres. And always have a lot of Pokeballs. This is important because sometimes you don't want to be looking for a Pokemon and then you find your favourite Pokemon. But then you don't have enough Pokeballs. But if you already have loads, then you will never have that problem of not having enough Pokeballs. Another one is, you know if you go to a Pokestop and and you keep on refreshing the Pokestop and you can't get any Pokeballs. Don't worry because every 5 to 10 minutes, 10 minutes the max and 5 minutes the least, the Pokestops always refresh, which means that you will get your Pokeballs. You just have to be very patient. And you know when you see a Pokeball, not a Pokeball, a Pokemon on the screen, you don't have to be right close to it. You just have to be within half a mile. So if it's really close to you, all you have to do is keep on tapping the Pokemon. So you don't have to be right up close to it, even though it's a bit far away from you. Just keep on tapping it and the Pokemon will appear on your screen and you can get it. And remember, if you don't start with the best Pokemon, it's, don't worry because nobody started with the best Pokemon. Everybody starts with Pikachu. And if you have a car, make sure to drive around because when you drive around, you obviously travel faster than walking and you're most likely to find more Pokemon than walking. And also, go, if there are any historic landmarks by you, make sure to go there because for some reason, research souls on YouTube as other YouTubers have also played this game, it shows that as soon as they go to historic landmarks, they seem to find Pokemon, and not any, not any ordinary Pokemon, but some really rare Pokemon. And also, overall, I'm just saying be patient, because the more patient you are, the more likely to find more Pokemon. So thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to drop a like, and make sure if you want if you want to let me know of any new games that you want me to play, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching me.